Okay, so you should have received your potato bag now. I've messed up. I meant to make this video with one before I sent them all out, but we'll just have to pretend that this is a potato bag and that these are potatoes. Okay, so the bag comes with a good mix already. It's one part soil, one part compost, one part manure. It's a nice growing medium to plant your potatoes in. So when you plant them, plant them deep. Space the three potatoes out as much as you can. Dig down into the compost mix. Plant them down deep. Next thing you want to do is give them a good water because the mix is quite dry just now because it's quite hot. Um, give them a good water and then every few days just check that the soil is still moist. Um, if it's not, give it a bit of water. Uh, what you'll see is as the potatoes start to grow, the shoots will come out. If you've got some extra compost in the garden or a bit of soil or whatever, just add that. It's called earthing them up. It just helps to protect the new shoots as they come out. You still get some cold nights here at the moment and uh, that can continue. We technically can get the last frost in mid-May in uh, our locality here in Edinburgh. So the potatoes we've supplied are second early potatoes, a variety called Charlotte. They're a good disease resistance and produce quite a good crop. So there's three different types of potato crop that you can get. So you've got first early, second early, main crop. That just means that the first earlies are ready a bit earlier in the year. Second earlies are kind of the next ones that will be ready for harvesting in main crop probably somewhere into August and um, September. Um, some advantages to first earlies crop might be a little bit smaller, um, it's ready earlier so by harvesting it early you actually avoid some of the problems later in the season that you might get with main crop potatoes in terms of potato blight when the air is more humid and um, more prone to these sorts of fungal diseases. So you probably have heard about chitting potatoes so that basically just once you've got them means that you might leave them on the windowsill or somewhere uh, not too hot, not too cold maybe in your greenhouse on your staging and um, usually they just sit them in the egg cartons or something and it just lets the little eyelets on the potatoes start to grow a bit. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. These haven't been chitted um, and commercial potato growers don't actually do that. They just plant them straight into the ground and they'll grow absolutely fine. So don't worry about that. So potatoes can get quite big. Some of them can easily get up to a metre and a half. Um, in terms of caring for them, so these bags, the ones that we've given you are kind of a dark colour. Potatoes don't like light, they get green when they get exposed to the light. And when they get green they get poisonous and you can't eat them. So dark bag helps to mitigate that. Also adding the, the earth and earthing up as I mentioned. That will encourage the shoots to come out from the, the base of the plant that the tubers will form on. Um, and if you earth as you go that will also help keep them in the dark big bit that comes out, a big stem, that's called the, the tatty shot uh, on a potato plant. Um, so yeah, just because it's in a bag, because it's dark colour, it will be prone to drying out on days like this. Um, so as you know, go through the, the months ahead, we will get warmer, so just check it every few days and give it a top up of water, particularly as the potatoes start to form towards the end of the, the plant's life cycle. These ones, second earlies, they should be ready probably, I would guess, around sort of July-ish time. Um, depends on the weather to some degree that we get between now and then. Okay, so this is a traditional potato patch, planted in drills or drills. Planted these a couple of weeks back, a mixture of second earlies, like what you guys have got in the potato bags, and main crops. Now you can see, just down here, one of them starting to poke through. There it is. So pull that away. You can see the tips just coming in. It's at this point in the year they're really susceptible to any frost damage if we get a really cold night. Which is why people earth them up, which I mentioned in the video. And it just protects that tender growth as it emerges from the ground. So in a couple of weeks time this whole bed will be covered in green foliage. 